What's going on, 522 gang? What's happening? What's poppin'? And welcome back to the CN Keys show. Yes, you already know. We back at it again <laughs> with another Talk to Us Thursday. What we got going on? We back with another Anon. Hey, I'm in my mid 30s and happily married to my husband for five years. We have a toddler and a fantastic sex life, which is better even than pre parenthood. Pre parenthood. My apologies. I had an intense crush on my husband for a long time before we hooked up, and he still gives me butterflies on a regular basis. <laughs> we are very open with sharing our desires and fantasies, and we communicate really well about our sex life. This has led to us trying things for the first time that we were un that were unspoken desires in the past relationships, wow. and just generally having a lot of fun together in bed. One of the things we discuss semi-seriously is my husband watching while I deal with another man. What's your guys' input on this? That's a tough topic because, look, I'm going to put it like this. Me, personally, ain't nobody touching my back. But at the same time, if I was into this type of shit, I couldn't see myself just let anybody be with my, my lady. You know what I'm saying? They, they had to care about my woman the way I care about her. They have to touch her the way I touch her. They have to look at her and kiss her, kiss on her the way that I look at her and kiss on her. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody like me, so <laughs> it's not going to happen. But, I mean, everybody everybody had their own uh, Everybody has their own preference. Yeah. They have their own beat that they drum to. My question is, who I did? Was it, was it his or yours? Like, we I need more details when y'all ask questions, especially like this. Honestly, I feel like that if y'all life in general, intimate wise and just relationship wise is great, why add unnecessary trouble to the mix? That's because true. now that's something that, you know, it can be misconstrued or misunderstood at any point in time, you know, like things can go south fast. And that's not a situation you don't want going to south. Trust me, I know personally. That would hurt me. You know, I know personally. <laughs> See, I don't. That's it, not it, a situation. I don't. It, it, it can it can go real left real fast, and uh, yeah, I think I think overall, like wifey said, you gotta you gotta be grateful for what you have. You know what I'm saying? Because when you let shit in, you know. Motherfuckers don't want to be quiet, so now you got motherfuckers all and in your NDAs business. NDAs don't and cover everything. You got motherfuckers all in your business telling, yeah, such and such be letting me crack his wife or such and such be letting me crack her husband or, you know, however y'all plan on doing this in the long run. Uh, this message go back like two months, you know, sorry for the delay, but I'm pretty sure either it already happened or y'all get tore from it. But, my opinion, just stay away from me. If y'all happy, be happy. But it's another side to it that made me feel like y'all not happy because if y'all was truly happy, oh, y'all wouldn't be this. Yeah, because I feel I feel like when people do this, it's more so for um, what's the best way to say it? It's more so the partner for, is lacking, so they're trying to make sure their 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 partner is not 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 being satisfied like they want their partner satisfied even though they're they I mean, know they're not satisfying yeah that too and even deeper than that i feel like sometimes people do this to solve a problem instead of discussing that problem you know what i'm saying so i don't know what to tell you on this one honestly shit we all we fuck, so. <laughs> we all we got, we all we fuck. I don't know. Get, don't get no better than that. Yeah, and we have a beautiful sex life. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, so. I mean, honestly, shit. At the end of the day, I can't tell you what to do. She can't tell you what to do. You gotta do what you gotta do, but it's consequences to everything. I don't want nothing coming back down the road biting me in the ass. Hell no. Shit. My kids being teased in school. I was about to say, imagine your kids finding out 17 years later, you know. Like, My dad fucked your mom, and your dad watched. You know, you know, like, don't do that. Just, just, please. Just, just be you. Be free and love your husband. 
Yeah, you have so. a baby, a husband love you, and then y'all be happy. Y'all got kids and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. stop doing the most. That's not spicing up the relationship. Hell no, that's find some new sex. That's making it toxic. Yeah. That's making it toxic because I, I also look at it like this: when when you do shit like that, it kind of devalues who your man is or who your woman is. You get what I'm saying? So like, it might be interesting when you watch a porn like. <laughs> Colts and shit. <laughs> I can so never weird. say that right, but you know, colts and shit, you know. But in actuality, okay, I put it like this if it was me, I'd be damned if I just sit and watch. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> you know, like, don't, said something. don't, don't devalue your man like that. That shit weird, man. It's all weird in general, but it's, it's not weird, it's different. It's weird because, like, the cold, cold, cold situation is weird. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with threesomes and swinging, you know, if that's what you into, that's what you into. But making your husband or your wife just sit back and watch, like, that, that's one, that, that one Facebook video we seen where uh, the whole threesome Yes, scenario. yes, and how the actual girlfriend that let her begging boyfriend have the girl she beat the dog crap out of the girl he already had the girl before they even got in a relationship and the girlfriend put two and two together when she was watching her dude bang this chick yeah don't put yourself in them situations it's just and on the end of the note um, I, I just want to say this when you when, when you do get into the whole threesome world cause we can't stop everybody I feel like you need to put your partner first and let the invitee help you put your partner first. You know what I'm saying? So, if if your man wants some head, give your man some head and make her come over there and, you know, swallow that thing too. <laughs> and, and vice versa, you know? I'm, a, I'm shaking my head like I'm agreeing, but I'm just like, yeah. I'm, like, just, I'm just... I'm not agreeing, but yeah. I'm just being realistic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit, if, if it's the other way around and... And you okay with another man being in there? Shit, how that nigga suck on her tits or her clit or you know? I'm just saying, like it's it's a team effort, but you you put your partner first. Don't make them watch. That's it. That's fucked up. But on that note, <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in to the <laughs> <Kiki> show. <laughs> Just say it. That's fucked up. Make sure y'all continue to like, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and don't forget to what, baby? Share, share, share. Every goddamn thing. Everything. We out of here. We out of here. We. Shit. Say that you love me and mean what you say. Promise you love me and tell me you'll stay. Such a good man, so I know we gon' win. That do was part, I'm here till the end. Ricky, I'm feeling your energy, babe. You move me to be such a better woman. Uplifted, building, investing this year. Making sure futures and babies secure.